In our globalized world, there are so many people in the long distance relationship and it's really personal, really different for everybody. For somebody it lasts for some month, for somebody it can last years. And uh, uh, what is the definition of the long distance relationship? Even that is different for everybody. For somebody it's not seeing his or her partner for some weeks, for somebody it's for some month, for somebody it can be a year. That's, that's insanity to be honest. And we all have our own advice and our own ideas of how to deal with long distance relationship and how to keep sanity. And uh, what is the long distance relationship for me personally? And long distance relationship for me were worse and at the same time better than I expected in the beginning because uh, I tried to keep my expectations quite low and uh, uh, we were thinking about maybe seeing each other a uh, couple times a year for some weeks because of the visa and borders and uh, uh, faraway countries but it turned to be really different. It turned to be that we'll manage even the first year to see each other um, quite regular. By quite regular I mean every two to three months and even spend together um, as long as two months and that was really incredible and I was really grateful to the universe that um, we and our families we made that happen. I remember how in the beginning of our relationship we watched some videos on YouTube about long distance relationship and they were inspiring for us and they were motivating and there were some things that we decided are useful there and some things that we decided are not good for us. So I just, my advice to you, do the same. Just don't take everything that other people tell you to do and that will work for you and think what can work and then try it and then if it doesn't work, choose something else and you will work it out uh, just in the, in the process. One of the common advice is to be really present in your partner's life and to know a lot of his, what he's doing at this moment and knowing all the small details. And on the contrary, other people have the advice of don't, don't do that too much. D try to have your own life and stick to your own life and uh, try to achieve something that you want to achieve and uh, uh, try not to focus on knowing and sharing everything and this is the most important task for you here in my mind to find the way in between of those two and uh, to really find moments when you want to share the small details I don't know, like everyday life details. Um, let's cook something together, let's eat together, let's have tea together. Um, sometimes maybe let's go to the shopping center together. I want this new jacket and I want your advice on it. And uh, I will show you the options and uh, you can look how uh, it suits me or not. This works only if your partner doesn't hate shopping. Um, but then you can choose something else. I remember in the beginning we were having a, a date and um, we just had our Skype on and uh, we were eating ice cream together in two different countries but we managed to um, have a small walk and um, just eat an ice cream together and it felt that we were a bit closer at this point. And at the same time you should understand that there are important things that your partner has to do either studying or working and you should not disturb each other too much and uh, that maybe calling is not what you should do all the time. Here the voice messages work really good. Um, you can just text, just listen when you have some time to listen because uh, maybe you're working and then it really works good for us or it's not even work. It can be, I know that he's meeting his friends and he's busy right now and if I want to say something, share something, I can just send him the voice and he listens whenever he has time. And try to be patient about um, people have their own life and they cannot cross out their friends and relatives. And uh, if the person is good to you, he will do the same. Uh, and whenever you have the gathering with friends and you just tell, sorry, I cannot right now, I will listen it later, that should be taken with a bit of understanding. 
One big problem more is that you cannot tell about your feelings uh, in other way than words many times. Or at least this is the only way that comes to our mind when we think about it. We have only words to tell that we love the person. But try to be here more inventive and probably you'll find a lot of um, different advice uh, in internet how to, to do that. And you can choose the one that will suit you the most. But we send each other postcards every now and then from if we travel or from just from our home and it's especially a nice feeling to hold a postcard that is handwritten by the person in another country for you and uh, there was the time invested to go to the post office and to send it and just to see the hand handwriting of another person is something special. Maybe for most of the men it will be not that special, but for most of the women they will, I guess, appreciate it a lot. But there are other ways. They can be you can send some photos or videos of yourself. Um, just you know, going um, to your work and you have some time and you make a random video and. Uh, um, this is how the weather is like here today and this is what I'm wearing today and uh, I'm thinking this and this. Hello my dear, uh, I'm standing on the traffic light and it's 80 seconds so I decided I can make a video for you. It's cold outside but... And that makes it a bit more like a real life conversation if you would just go next to each other. You can also make a video out of the old videos that you made while you were together and then make a small present out of it. Just um, some small videos together with nice music, maybe with some nice words in it and try to be creative and it will be appreciated by another person. I'm for example quite sensitive to smells so uh, I'm glad that I have um, his perfume here and whenever I feel really really lonely I can smell it and it also make him closer to me somehow more physically here though for sure it's just an illusion but it works and maybe it will work for you as well. One more thing, keep yourself motivated. There are so many stories that are bad and that are demotivating that will say it will never work for you and long distance relationship is really difficult and not for everybody. And it is not for everybody and it will not work for everybody. But better to listen to something more motivating and how people uh, just lived like this for quite some time and then they managed to be finally together and I really, really enjoyed those stories. And there were stories from unknown people in the internet and there were stories from some people I know and that they um, finished successfully. I mean, the people still came together physically and uh, it's really, really making yourself believe that it will also work for you. Oh, and if you already have some traditions that uh, you have as a couple, try to accomplish them somehow even when you are not together. For example, um, I had this before I met my husband. I was writing the letter to myself every new year before uh, 12. I was writing myself a letter in future and I will open that the next year and read um, what were my feelings a year ago and what were my expectations to the coming year. And last year we did this for the first time together and we discussed how beautiful and nice it will be to do that. And this year, this new year, uh, also together sitting next to each other. But because of the bureaucracy, it was not possible, sadly. And we, we still did it. Uh, we did it via Skype, but it's better than not doing that and skipping this tradition. And we discussed how nice it will be next year for sure to do that really together. One more thing that you need to remember, I have myself troubles with remembering that, is to stay positive. The day will come. The day will come when the problem will be solved. No matter what is exactly the problem that you have, why you cannot be together right now. That's really difficult to stick to this advice. But all the previous things that I told you will help to will help you to stay positive. And also if the people that are surrounding you, they can stay positive and give this positivity to you, it can also be really helpful. 
And just this morning, some hours ago, my husband reminded me that there is also maybe the reason for everything to happen. And for example, me now waiting so long for those documents, maybe there is a reason for that. Maybe there is the reason for me to be here and not there. And uh, I just try to wait patiently. I cannot do that many times. Um, but I try to focus on that. There are, there are things that I need to accomplish maybe here and I try to find these things and to enjoy the moment and to meet all the friends that I wanted to meet for a long time and didn't manage that in the past and uh, just enjoy the family time because I don't know how often I can visit them in future and all those small things. And if we sum up the previous ideas at balance between sharing everything and um, knowing a lot about your partner and being okay with not knowing what he or she is doing at this exact moment. Then second one is to be inventive, to keep surprising your partners. There can be digital ways or remember about postcards. I think this is a really great idea. Then uh, third one, stay positive uh, about your relationship and about yourself and stay motivated and you can be inspired by the stories of other people. And then uh, just try to be honest honest in all the specters of your relationship and then everything should work out for you. If you are in a long distance relationship right now, I hope it will finish for you soon and fingers crossed it will finish for me soon too.